And joining us are two of the young people in the campaign for the Youth Jobs Coalition. They're youth organizers from the city school. We'd like to welcome Kamani Nicole Williams and Roy James Daly. Thank you very much for being with us. I want to start with uh, Roy. First of all, take us back to your own experience uh, with Summer Job. Uh, tell us what that was like. Well, my own experience started back in 2010. It actually started after, well, 2000, the actual end of summer 2009, where I just was in my house playing video games the entire summer. And just coming out of that, I realized I didn't really much achieve anything. So going on to the next time, I was like, I wanted to do more. I wanted to get a job. I wanted to be able to sustain myself and just be able to get my foot through the door. So my sister, my older sister presented me with an opportunity to take part in a, in a program called the Summer Leadership Program. We call it SLP at the City School. And my time there was just amazing. I was a student for six weeks. And since I graduated, I've just been a city, part of the city school ever since. And that led to me being a part of the city school last summer and me working there today. What kind of leadership things did you do? Um, it's a social justice organization, so we focus on facilitation and um, focus on facilitation and education about different social justice issues, whether it's environmental justice, violence and liberation, poverty, health, the horizon is vast, so we learn about different issues that affect different areas. Nicole, what about your summer work experience? Um, well, like Tony here, um, in 2010, I found the summer leadership program. They had came to my school, my freshman year of high school, and um, at that time, I wasn't really looking for like a money paying job, but I was just looking for something to do during the summer. And once I got started with the summer leadership program, it was an experience that I would never forget. And then it just opened my eyes into like one of the social justice aspect of life. And um, after that, I came into the city school, um, which is kind of the year round job. And it, it's just been like, it's been amazing to actually be able to be a part of this mission to um, get the things that we need for you. Sound you sound very enthused about it. Can you remember what, what got you started, and the spark and all that? Um, I think the first thing that kind of clicked me was um, at the beginning of the summer leadership program, we have a three-day retreat. And on the second day, we talked about sexism, racism, and classism. And um, growing up and, you know, not the best of neighborhoods, I guess, um, it was one of those things where I was like, this is where I need to be, this is where I need to learn so that I can take back and give to my community and, you know, educate them because, you know, there's a lot of teenagers that don't know about different things like that. So that was when I was like, I'm going to learn and go back and teach my friends and family about what I learned. Right. Is this, uh, um, uh, did this experience change what you think you want to do later on? Um, well, at this point in time, I really don't know what I'd want to do later on in life, but I know that I want to be successful and most importantly happy. And through my work doing this, I know that I'm very much happy. So if I continue on doing this, it will just lead to where I need to be or where I feel I need to be. So just allow me to find something I'm passionate about. Talk to me about the kind of people who were around you when you were on this job, both your own age and maybe some older people. Well, the young people around my age were very similar and very different. We come from like all over Boston and different suburban areas. So we had a lot of different stories to exchange and share with each other. Um, and the adults that were supporting us, they were very informative and very like supportive. So there was like really, really, really positive role models for each, each of us. And just being able to grow off of each other and every single person that was there was phenomenal. What about your experience, Nicole, in this? Um, um, in the beginning, um, the youth were like, I felt they were very different from me and I felt a little bit more mature and it wasn't in the sense of like being or like, you know, self care or anything. It was just that I felt I was, I was, you know, raised a little faster and not like in bad terms, but as in like responsibility wise. And I think at the end of the summer, I realized that we were all the same youth working for the same goal and it just took a little more education for me to realize that. And as far as the adults, I felt like they were very supportive. I felt like they see, you know, the ambition in the youth. I felt like, you know, they were working alongside us the whole time. And, you know, I wouldn't have asked for, you know, any other adult support. 
Right, of course, to, to make this possible, you, you need some um, cooperation. You either need some money from government or you need some private companies to step up. Uh, so talk about getting that message out yesterday in the rally. Um, basically, we need, us youth, we need support from all around because since we are in a recession, there has been a lack or just a shortage of jobs for everybody, including us youth. But we need more people to invest in us because we are, as along with being the future, we are indeed the now generation. So we are also being affected by these hard times and we need people to help us grow. So when we get to, in 20 years, when we get to y'all positions, we can be able to fix the problem that, or prevent the problem that's presenting us today. Right, Nicole, and I imagine some neighborhoods feel this recession more than others, even if some other places are coming out of it. Um, I, I agree with that. I feel like a lot of neighborhoods are feeling this and getting it way harder than some. And I think just with the youth that I work with, I see it alone. And, you know, there's been a lot of researches done that have shown it, not only in Massachusetts, but, you know, across many different states. And I believe that you know, with this research that it's time that, you know, not only youth, but, you know, you know, state electives, you know, more adult support, they start realizing that it's going to hurt more than what it's hurting now. And it is better if we just nip it now than let it, you know, continue to hurt us. So, Roy, I guess the message is you want the state legislature to at least keep as much as last year, preferably more than last year? Yes. Um, this year we're asking for $12 million in order to have $9 million for the summer jobs and $3 million for school year, school, school year jobs. Um, that way youth can develop not only during the summer, but they can develop skills and leadership traits like I've learned and me, Nicole's learned too throughout the year. Um, this is just a way to invest in, into tomorrow by investing today. All right, thank you both very much, Roy James Daly and Nicole Williams from the Youth Jobs Coalition. Still to come, filling Boston's opera gap, but first, this message.